So actually, that's uh, that's a very uh, interesting question because uh, uh, that's uh, where our problem lies. Uh, uh, India, as you know, falls under the WHO classification of low middle income countries, but it's a very heterogeneous country. So we have the very rich and the very poor, and uh, the population is rest of the population is skewed in between, probably more towards the lower side than the higher side. Uh, however, the cancer burden uh, is huge and uh, the pain capacity of the patients uh, is not there. Uh, very few are covered by health insurance or by employee benefits uh, to be able to afford these therapies, even if we bring them down substantially as far as costs are concerned. So for the vast majority, they probably still won't be able to access it, even at much reduced uh, prices. So this is one of the biggest challenges which we faced when we started out on this. Uh, we do think that uh, we can bring it to, to uh, 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 you know, once it is uh, accepted and becomes an approved therapy, to somewhere around twenty-five to thirty thousand uh, dollars at a market price. And we do think that it is possible uh, with a combination of government aid and uh, non-government organizations, including charity, uh, to be able to raise the funds so that almost all our patients are able to get this therapy. So this uh, is a challenge, but it's also a huge opportunity for us. Uh, so we are looking at several ways, uh, right from the science onwards, uh, from right from the design and the manufacturing, bringing down the cost as far as processes are concerned, uh, trying to have complete control over the manufacturing process uh, so that we can uh, you know, adapt and bring down costs, especially when uh, it's scaled up uh, for use uh, in the clinic.